<laughs> We've only gone and bloody done it. We've repointed it all, haven't we? Oh, look at that. Do you know what? I it, This has taken like nearly two weeks to do. And um, it was like every single day. And it was getting that bad that um, I even woke up in the middle of the night and I was repointing my bloody pillar. It's been a complete nightmare. Anyway, this video is not about this blinking wall. It's about things not going too right down at the beehive. So let's get suited and booted and um, get on down there. So there's lots of activity down here and a lot of aggression going on and there's bees trying to get into the hives, all three hives here now. You can see, you can see like these bees, they seem to be darker in colour. They're just trying to get into any little gap in the hive. As you can see, look down there, they're trying to get into that hive. So what we've done is we've, we've blocked up all three holes and just left this tiny, tiny little hole here. Can you see that? It's just big enough for one bee to get in at a time. And that will allow them to guard their honey reserves. We've done the same on this hive. There we go, look, just big enough hole there. Bloody bees, innit? They've come from the forest somewhere and they think they're going to get lucky trying to attack our hives and empty them out. This hive is absolutely massive. It, it, it is just full up with bees from front to back. So they're going to have a right mortal combat going on trying to get in there. And there's even wasps trying to join in on the frenzy but they're not getting in I've now put the chairs up against the holes and it's um it's helping a bit they're sort of confused now as where to get into the hive it's now getting worse down here there is bees everywhere Occasionally you can see like bees locked in mortal combat on the floor. Ah, there's some there now. There's some there fighting. Trying to save their hive. This ain't good. This ain't good to have at all. They better hurry up and bloody sod off. I'm trying my best to protect the hives. I think I might get the smoker out and have a little smoke around to try and calm it all down. Oh, we don't be needing this. Yeah, it's definitely calming down now we've got the smoke out. The bloody bees, isn't it? You... My dad said to me the other day, he said that every thing on this bloody planet has to fight each other. And he's right, isn't he? Really? I never knew bees fought like this, but they do. So apparently, if this ever happens to you, the best thing you can do is close your hives up. Every little gap in the hive, make sure that no bees can get in it. And if you've got holes at the front, just fill the holes up and make, make one of them big enough just for one bee to come in and out. And that way they can um, defend their hive better. And if it really gets on top, try smoking around the outside of the hives like we've done. That seems to have helped clear it. Bloody bees. We love the bees, but we don't want our hives here ruined by other bees. That's it, as fast as they came, they all seemed to disappear once we started taking that action. Oh dear. We love the bees, but it's horrible to see your own hives getting raided by a swarm from, from somewhere else. 
they, they'll actually they'll kill the queen as well and they'll kill all the bees in there and just literally rob the hive for themselves so a bit of a battle on our hands but all seems to be well <laughs> If the reserves, the honey reserves have gone down, get a jar, put holes in it, no bigger than a drawing pin head, like the holes in there, and make a mixture up of 50 parts white refined sugar to 50 parts water. Let that dissolve and we can put that in the hive as um, extra food for them where it's been robbed. So let's have a little look in the hive. I've put this, this I've, I've made this up and that is for the jars to go in. Them jars will go upside down on there like that and because of the holes are so small it won't pour out but the, the bees can get their little nectar tongues up into these holes and drink from it or f feed <laughs> feed I should say and that's it and we'll shut the hive up and a handy little tip is to have like the bungee ropes we'll put that there and then that's secured in case there's high winds and the lid won't blow off then will it up there up there for thinking, down there for dancing. <laughs> Tomatoes, they're blinking everywhere. We're going to have to have a tomato festival, isn't it? What is it, Tomatillo Festival or something? I don't know. <laughs> so let's have a little reflect on what possibly caused that down there. Well, we're at the end of September and temperatures should start should have started to cool down and the bees were, was probably thinking right let's, let's get ready to shut our hives down and hibernate but the weather was exceedingly hot and above average temperatures well above average it was ridiculously hot so I think that the bees all came out to carry on foraging but because of the plants and all of the, the wild flowers and everything had done their job. They'd all flowered, they'd produced seeds and died off, thus producing less nectar for the bees. So the bees thought that they would um, come hunting and, and robbing hives. This situation is quite common if you get this scenario. It's very common. And it's all about being close to nature, really, and, and noticing what's, what's going on around you. For the people who live in the towns and don't take much notice of nature, this exceedingly hot weather, it's just like, yeah, crack a beer and let's get the ice cream out. It ain't like that in real life. This is the real life, being close to nature, knowing what's going on, not blinking, chasing pounds and things like that. It's just, <laughs> It's the wrong way to go about life, it's, it's chasing the pound all day long and just ignoring the actual environment and uh, oh, it, anyway. <laughs> well that brings us to the end of another day and also to the end of another video. Isn't that a beautiful sunset eh? So take care, thanks to everyone, thanks for popping by, thank you so so much and I'll see you on the next video. Take care, stay safe, bye! Every day the sun doesn't shine, sometimes it has to rain.